Hey, hey, it's TDA, and today I wanted to do something a little different. You may not be aware of this, but the developers of Dyson Sphere program currently have a contest going on. Last patch, new design mechanics were introduced that let you radically redesign the looks of your little mecha. The contest is really simple. Design an amazing look, make some screenshots and post them in the Reddit or Discord. And the developers will pick five winners that will all receive quite a nice prize. Now, I don't have the skill set you would need to win a contest like this because, quite frankly, the mecha design controls look like literal rocket science to me. But, luckily, we have some people with amazing artistic skills that shared their design with us. I collected 10 of my favorites to showcase in this video. But before we dive in, I want to be very clear, these designs are not mine. Full credits go to their creators and I will link to their personal designs in the description of this video. So if you like their design, make sure to give them a like on the website to make them more visible and easier for others to find. Now let's dive in. So first up is Hulkbuster from Iron Man. This is made by iSpider and it's a pretty straightforward design. It's basically just a normal mech, but it looks really cool. It's a nice representation of Hulkbuster from the movies, if you've seen it or from the comics, of course. Um, it makes sense kind of flying around with this little thruster. So it's a pretty cool build. Now the second build is Artanis from Starcraft and it's made by VegTap and it looks really sleek and really nice, a lot of attention to detail and yeah honestly this is probably one of my favorite more normal looking designs just because of how nicely finished it looks, it flies around really nice and I've played a lot of Starcraft so yeah there's that. Uh, all in all a pretty great look I think. Now the next one up is going to be Bender from Futurama made by Panic. Panic actually made quite a few nice designs and this is one of my favorites that he made. He actually has a video explaining how you make this stuff as well including feature uh, videos of each character how he made it so uh, I assume it's a he. So look that up. The next one on the list is a character that I think most of you might be familiar with it's basically Steve or Stevie from Minecraft made by Ostrich and yeah it's it's a quite a straightforward design it costs a ton of materials by the way to uh, actually implement it um, but look at it it has even the little pickaxe even though it doesn't actually use the pickaxe to cut the trees kind of cheating there um, yeah this is just a very familiar design to a lot of people so it is just amazing and then next up, we have Master Chief from Halo. This is, uh, again, made by Panic. And it's uh, one of the more straightforward designs. Um, as you can see, at least, it's just a robot with two arms and two legs, etc. But this is one of the few characters that actually has jetpacks that make a lot of sense on the character. And yeah, and it looks really good. So if you're a fan of Master Chief, then you will appreciate that. Now, for something completely different, this is Wheatley from Portal 2. Again, made by Panic. And um, not my favorite necessarily, but it's just so different uh, than a lot of the other designs that I did want to feature it. Um, it doesn't fly around quite correctly, I think, but all in all, it looks really good. Speaking of something completely different, this is basically a hamster with jetpacks. And it is made by Arthea. Um, I have no idea how you make these things with the uh, creator. I didn't even know this was possible until I saw it. Um, but yeah, if you want to be a hamster with jetpacks, you can be. And it actually flies around really nicely and easily. So it's a pretty nice design overall, I think. Now, similar-ish, but a lot happier, or even, even happier, I should say, is the emoji made by LP Stark. Um, Look at that little happy guy jumping around and flying around and kind of crashing into planets with his jetpack. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this just makes me laugh every time I see it. I have no idea how hard it is to make this specific uh, design, but it's just it's just really funny. But one of my favorites is coming up now. This is Eve from Wally, -E, and again made by Panic. So I'm kind of of the Panic fan club, I suppose. It's a really tiny design. Um, but it fits so well with the character from the movies. Uh, it actually moves around very easily as well, um, very naturally. So one of my favorite designs for sure. And then last but definitely not least, we have this Mekito that is basically a mosquito with um, 
little hamster inside or something like that. And once you move around, it's actually like pulling the levers in the thing. And once you lift off, it actually looks really great. The wings fall out. It's an actual mosquito flying around. I think this is a piece of art. So one of my favorites for sure. Hey guys, those were 10 of my favorite mecha designs. I hope you enjoyed them. If I missed any of the great designs that you found and you want to share them with us, please do leave them below in the comments if you make some yourself. I would be very interested to see your designs as well. So once again, load them up to the Dice Tree Blueprints website and link to them in the comments. Uh, feel free to promote yourself a little bit if you make something awesome. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit of different type of contracts from usual if you did let me know as well and i will make making sure to do something like this whenever something like this pops up again and uh, if there's a huge demand of course i can make a few more videos because i think I, there's probably at least two dozen more designs that i found that are really great but i think these are some of the best that are around at the moment but once again if i missed any let me know and i hope to see you in the next video